What does it mean to work out your salvation? Hang out and let's break it down. Welcome to Keeping It Real with Grandma Joe in faith and in truth. Well, let's first go to Ephesians 2, 8. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourself. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. So if it's by faith and not of works, so that no man can boast, then where do we get work out our salvation? Then let's look at Philippians 2, 12 and 13. Therefore, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who works in you both to will and to work for his good pleasure. So let's break this down. So he says obey, and that's to obey when someone is watching or when they are not. Continue to not grow weary of doing good and God's will. Work out. Here's the buzzword. Work out our salvation. Work out here is referring to the act of doing. Pursue. Continue. Produce. As in producing fruit. The word salvation here is not referring to our initial salvation, which was a gift from God, but the sanctification process. And that is the setting apart, making us look more like Christ and less like the world. This is similar to a marriage. When we make a commitment or a covenant, that's when the work really begins. So even though we're secure now in the covenant and in the relationship, we have to work out the ups and the downs and the growth throughout the relationship. Similar, when our salvation is secure, we work out the ups and downs through hard times and experiences through our life. Fear and trembling. This is a healthy dose of fear and reverence for the magnitude of the gift that we have received through God, through Christ, for our salvation. A similar analogy would be if we had throat cancer and we would not be able to live without a new pair of lungs. And someone gave us or gifted us a set of lungs. We would have the choice to maybe not take care of those lungs and that gift, doing things to the throat that would cause it to be damaged. Or we could treasure the gift that was given to us and take extremely good care of it, learn what it takes to soothe the throat and to keep it well and healthy. Well, we've been given an amazing gift, and it's now up to us to treasure that gift, to take care of that gift, and to live it out this side of eternity. A friend shared with me, I just do what I can, and then I let God do the rest, which is well said in 2 Timothy 2.15. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, and one who correctly handles the word of truth. Which leads us to our challenge verse, 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17. All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for, and here's the list, teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, which is right living and right thinking, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. So what does it mean to work out our salvation? It means as God allows circumstances and experiences in our life or throughout our life until he takes us home with him, we learn to be teachable. We learn to be able to take rebuke and correction to be on the right path. We learn to be trained and well-equipped through God's word. Let's be obedient and practice right living and right thinking. Blessings. See you next week. 